Hello. How are you? Today? I'm very well, thank you. How was the quarantine show here? Um, well, I had a very good time, and uh, I would, I've already told all my friends that it was a fantastic club. I, I, I am an old DJ, I'm not a young DJ, and I remember the small clubs, dark, uh, good sound system. That is the perfect place that I most enjoy to play, in those kind of atmosphere. You said to me that you felt like old school. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the old school means uh, the, in the, when it all started, like in the 80s, in t like 25 years ago, the clubs were small and dark and they had a really good sound system and uh, people didn't care what clothes you wear or what job you do, they just came to have a good time. Uh, how are parties in London today? What is the difference between here and there? Well, they have very big discos and... Uh, so they um, have to get a lot of people to come and uh, it's, it's much more commercial, it's much more like a business. And, but at the same time, there is also the small clubs, the exclusive, uh, secret, hidden places. You go downstairs and, and people just go to have a good time and listen to the music. Well, it's, diff it's difficult. I mean, you, uh, I'm lucky that uh, I know both England and Italy because London is, uh, or England, London, I, I'm from London, is, um, is a very particular place. There's everything. There's m music and uh, art and uh, uh, business. Uh, it's a very, very uh, live city. And so there, there's lots of good things about it. And you can, um, you're very free, you know, musically or any, any creative person has a good time in London. Italy, on the other hand, is much more, it's, it's not as modern as England, but you have fantastic weather and fantastic food and <laughs> fantastic cities, uh, so you can't have everything. I think it's, it's with Europe is becoming smaller and smaller and smaller. Aeroplanes you can fly in one hour or two hours all around Europe. So I think it's uh, it's uh, it, it's it's good to see different realities. You have aristocratic it's for sale. It's for sale. Anyone want to buy my aristocratic <laughs> title? <laughs> I, I think that's nothing to do with me. Uh, it's my father's fault and my grandfather's fault. He. Um, comes from an old Florentine family and uh, I didn't choose this but uh, this is this is part of my life and uh, um, I, to me it makes no difference it makes no difference it can maybe be useful to book a table in a restaurant that have no have, that don't have any tables free you call and say oh I am my this is my name and they oh yes you can come and come to our restaurant and then when they see me they don't let me in because I look like a mess <laughs> That's basically. Uh, for instance, when I, um, I knew that you know about Bulgarian chow girls, they are very right. attitude. Right. <laughs> well, um, I think um, uh, because I, my passion is music, uh, one of the first questions when I came to Bulgaria for the first time is, uh, what is uh, the popular music in Bulgaria? And they all said, oh, it's called chalga, and they showed me uh, and uh, I said, well, this is I don't know what they're saying, because I don't understand Bulgarian, but uh, it, looks, it looks okay to me. I mean, it just reminds me of 1980s, the hip-hop culture with lots of women with short skirts and guys with gold and big cars. Um, and I know it's very popular, so I, I'm, this must be something good about it. I don't, I, I, I don't know what they're saying, so uh, I don't know what they're singing about. <laughs> I know, but it's popular. The quality... Uh, from a production point of view, uh, it's actually made very well. And uh, the videos are shot very well. So th either they um, take a lot of care in making it or it makes them lots of money. So. Did you remember some names? Oh, uh, hold on. <laughs> now, apart from. Uh, oh dear. Yes. But uh, I, I, they showed me the most famous. There's two girls, one girl who's blonde hair. And then another one, <laughs> and then there's a really famous guy called Aziz, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and who's um, uh, he's very interesting. Uh, the, you know, it's nothing new, 
maybe it's for Bulgaria, it's new, a guy dressing up with makeup and blonde hair. But if you're from London, it's nothing new. Uh, I used to see people like that walking down the street every day. And in the, <laughs> and in the clubs uh, in London in the 80s, the drag queens were fantastic and um, incredible. They could have been, you didn't have to be gay, you, d you could just want to dress up, you know. And there was people who work in the bank or work in, uh, as a doctor and they would go home and spend three hours uh, putting makeup and wig and everything and then they'd come to dance. It was fantastic. So. I think anybody who uh, wants to express themselves in any way, as long as they don't hurt anybody, that's fine. It just makes the world a more colorful place. So many tracks you work on? Well, yeah, I'm actually working uh, on, strangely enough, I'm working on a hip-hop track, which is uh, a very, very good fun, because the last time I did that was 20 years ago, and so I'm doing it in the old way, which is going to get records and recording small pieces of records uh, and then sampling them which is uh, the way we used to do it and of course the the people now they don't do that anymore or as much and uh, the people I'm work oh, working with saying oh this sounds great and I'm like yeah this is how we used to do it and um, so I'm working with an Italian rapper and uh, I've spoken to a few of your singers here in Bulgaria and hope to be able to mic remix some, some music here as well. Mm, nice. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs>